For number 59, the best way uh, to rewrite this would be, just so you can see it perhaps a little bit easier, is to write this as the tangent of something to the second power. That way we know that when we take the derivative of this function, we're going to use the power rule first, 2 times the tangent of 5 theta to the first power times the derivative of the tangent of 5 theta. And the derivative of the tangent of anything is the secant squared of that anything. But then we multiply by the derivative of the anything. So there you go. We have 5 times 2 is 10 times the tangent of 5 theta times the secant squared of 5 theta. So you have to use the chain rule twice on this one. Number 63, we have uh, x to the 1 half here. So the derivative of x to the 1 half is 1 half times x to the negative 1 half, 1 half minus 1, plus. So we have the sine of 2x squared. So 1 fourth is the constant. We'll leave that out there. And then we have the derivative of the sine. Sine is the outside function. The derivative of the sine of anything is the cosine of the anything times the derivative of the anything. The derivative of 2x squared, let's, uh, it's getting a little bit busy here, 2x squared. I can leave it like that, or I could write it as 4x squared as well. Uh, but the derivative of 2x squared, I, I think it'd be easier, yeah, let's just write it as, let's write it as the derivative of 4x squared, like that. And the derivative of 4x squared is 8x. And so we're done with that part. Let's clean it up a little bit. So that'd be 1 over 2 times the square root of x. And then we have plus 1 fourth there and an 8x there. So 8x over 4 is a 2x. And then we have cosine of 2x quantity squared. Maybe you already saw this, but I just realized I actually did problem 65. I called it number 63, but it was actually number 65. So actually, that's not even on last night's homework. So uh, that's on tonight's homework. So make sure you do that one. OK, so now for the real 63. f prime is equal to, uh, again, let's rewrite this 3 times the secant of something to the second power. So we're just going to use the uh, product. So that's f of t, actually. So f prime, then would be equal to, so we're going to use the power rule, 2 times 3 is 6, times a secant of pi t minus 1, raised to the first power. All that gets raised to the first power. And then we multiply by the derivative of the secant of whatever. Well, we know that the derivative of the secant is secant tangent. And secant of whatever, tangent, secant tangent of the same thing, multiplied by the derivative of the inside, the derivative of the pi t minus 1 with respect to t. And that's just a constant. So the derivative of a linear, uh, linear function, linear in, in t. So the derivative of pi times t is pi. Derivative of negative 1 is 0. So we have, we have all of this. I didn't want to rewrite every part of it as I went. So they had that part, which is the power rule part of it, times the derivative of the inside, see, derivative of the secant, which is right here, secant tangent, times the derivative of whatever you're taking the secant of here, which is just pi. So when you combine all of those, you just get uh, 6 times pi, 6 pi. So we get that and that. And then we have a secant of this times the secant of it, so it's a secant squared of pi t minus 1 times the tangent of pi t minus 1. I just looked in the back of the book just to make sure that the form that I was leaving it in was the same as the form in the back, and it's not. But that doesn't mean that this is wrong. So if you got that, that's right. If it was a multiple choice test, then we know that secant squared is 1 over cosine squared. So if we take tangent, so let's just do secant squared of x and tangent of x. That means it's 1 over cosine squared of x times the sine of x over the cosine of x. And when you combine these, you get cosine cubed 
of x, and when you take that sine in the numerator, you get sine of x. And so I think the answer in the back of the book was 6 pi times the sine of whatever that x is. In this case, it's the pi t minus 1 over the cosine cubed of pi t minus 1. Same answer, just different form.